Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here for Serpent X Tech and I just want to go over a quick situation here with you guys as far as mining profitability. A lot of miners are doing this. What they're doing is they're using two miners that allows users to mine Ethereum and Ethereum Classic and get paid out in Bitcoin. And oftentimes you may see, you know, your total paid, uh, for example, here is $13,059. Um, however, when you look at your actual wallet, you will see that it's a lot less. Now, again, a lot of people tend to look at the fiat values and not the Satoshi or GUI values. Uh, so, for example, moving forward, right? So we only have around, we, we lost 100 bucks, basically, right? According to the number on two miners and the number that we have in uh, our Bitcoin address, we lost about 100 bucks, uh, give or take a few. And what you're paying attention to is the actual amount of BTC and the actual amount of Ethereum. So right now, at time of filming, uh, 0.39 Ethereum is around 1360. And then uh, the amount of Bitcoin that we have in our wallet, it's around 1250 thereabouts, obviously. Market did pump during the data that I pulled for the past 28 days. And if we convert exact 0.39 Ethereum into Bitcoin, we lost point. 0.002 Bitcoin overall. So we got to take that into account. But why did we lose that? Well, first off, there's a lot of issues. Uh, but more importantly, there's gas, right? And gas on Ethereum is high. And everybody's been complaining about that. That's not new. Uh, also, additionally, you got to take in and consider the price of Ethereum, right? You could mine directly to your Ethereum wallet and then swap that Bitcoin um, at your leisure probably saving some money uh but since two miners is offering this for you they're saving as much money as possible paying the least amount of fees on average i think i saw basically around two dollars and fifty cents uh per transaction right and if you do two dollars and fifty cents times 28 days that comes out to 70 bucks so where's the extra 30 uh, almost 40 bucks well that's obviously going to be the exchange rate at which they swapped Ethereum for Bitcoin. Now, between the time I started this data till now, uh, the price of Ethereum ranged anywhere from 2,500 all the way up to 3,400. Obviously, again, that impacts things. So that can be the price right there. Uh, and when gas fluctuates, you know, some days are bad, some days are good. You're obviously going to see a gas price ranging anywhere from $2 all the way up to $5, really depending. So I wouldn't say freak out. Just because the number you're seeing on two miners and a fiat value does not equate to the number you're seeing in your Bitcoin address, it's not going to be a one-to-one -one direct comparison, uh, but it is the best way for you technically to mine Bitcoin with your GPUs unless you have ASICs. Uh, so you're just going to have to pick and choose your battles. Otherwise, you can just mine Ethereum directly and then swap to Ethereum at your leisure using your favorite exchange and whatnot. But that's it. I just wanted to make sure that you're aware of that. Uh, don't freak out. Uh, everything is okay. You could mine with nice hash, and sometimes you get a golden goose. And what I mean by that is uh, you somebody might overpay on the marketplace to use your hash power to mine Ethereum, and you get paid more in Bitcoin. But uh, that is not as consistent as I would say two miners is as far as a consistent amount of Bitcoin you're making. Uh, and also in your payouts, you'll be able to see how much the exchange rate was for Bitcoin and Ethereum at that time. So just look through the data. Uh, don't freak out. And I hope this helps you out in some form or fashion. But that's going to do it for today's video. Please do me a favor on the way out. Hit the like button. Don't forget to get subscribed. Hit the notification bell and stay up to date. Um, as well as check out some links in the description. And I will catch you on the next one. Take care.